Hello and welcome to the Akari Cast Classic. I'm the gully position player for Sony's cricket team, Fighter Kaos. With me is professional goalie for the flying Xbox hockey team, 16 bit Jeff. Yeah, go S spots to the best spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I feel like here. I want to throw up in my mouth. You know, because I'm a Sony pony and you're next spot. Because Again, I feel like I want to throw up in my mouth. Yeah. Because people. Ugh. Ugh. Like, like, I need to be called something that rhymes. Ugh. Anyways. So, <laughs> what are we here for? We're here for what we do for the end of the year. We don't know if we're going to make this a tradition or not, but we're doing it this year. Our top five predictions for what we're going to do for. I'm going to do Sony. Predictions for Sony, and Jeff's going to do predictions for Microsoft. If we had a third guy, they'd do predictions for Nintendo, but we don't, so... But no, let's be front, no one cares about Nintendo because <laughs> they're dying. They've been in a dying, they've been in a dying corpse for the last, what, five to ten years? Well, all right. We don't do housekeeping or none of that. I'm actually thinking of making that a separate show. I'll just call it the meta, or housekeeping, or whatever. Um, so we're doing good. Who wants mm-hmm. Jeff? Why don't you go first? Your top five. Try not to go well, overboard. You, you, yeah, you know, you know our time deal. Of course. Well, I think it seems fitting because let's be frank, the Xbox brand this time around, unlike last generation, is at the uh, at the end stick of the totem pole this generation due to um, death because of uh, one particular person, which should not be named. So let's get into the uh, predictions list for the Xbox One coming 2017. Uh, first off, number five, uh, at, X- at E3 2017 at Xbox's briefing, the Scorpio will be announced officially as the successor to the Xbox One and not part of the Xbox One family like it was this year, and will be priced at $500. Uh, the reason why I went with this because if they are going truly for 4K 60 frames, you cannot tell me that beefy son of a bitch is going to be priced a lot. Uh, number four. A new rare IP rebirth akin to what happened in 2013 with uh, Killer Instinct 3 will be announced at Gamescom 2017. However, the probability of it being Banjo 3, I would love that to be, but realistically, let's be blunt. Xbox is mostly known for being a shooter, a shooter connoisseur console in regards to that field of gamers. So the realistic revival would possibly, most likely, be Perfect Dark. I've way I wouldn't mind. I prefer Perfect Dark more than Banjo Three than Adventure Three. So I'll be fine because there's a little game known as Ukulele coming out. So I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, number three, with the recent revivals of Xbox related IPs, either a Star Wars Core remake from from Bioware because EA now owns the rights to Star Wars franchise for the next decade. Or a Crimson Skies remaster will be announced at either E3 or Gamescom. Number two, also, I also predict another announcement that will be announced at E3 2017, and I feel like they were teasing it, because you know how Phil loves to wear his shirts at every presser to tease something big. The official announcement of OG Xbox backwards compatibility. The catch, however, is the same catch with PlayStation 2 to PS4 backwards compatibility. No physical, digital only. And the reasoning is thus. Unlike the PlayStation Network and Xbox Live network infrastructures that we have, they didn't exist two generations ago where both the PlayStation 2 and the original Xbox were true relevant. So there would be no tracking of that software with these accounts that have been prevalent for 10 to 12 years now. So yeah, that will be the only catch would be digital-only purchases. And my number one, and I know people say it's crazy, but with the way this generation has been going for the uh, Xbox team, I've E3... I've read E3 2017 or Gamescom 2017, whether it's on the stage or or a post briefing on Xbox.com or through Major Nelson's blog, would be the disillusion, the, the, the dissolve of uh, the Xbox brand itself. And instead, it will be rebranded under the Windows, the Windows brand as a Windows machine, a Steam machine of sorts, known as the Winbox. 
And that's my predictions for Xbox in the new year. And But before, there was one more. There's one more. As tradition, we have our crazy out there ones. And uh, for my crazy one, a third-person Halo tactical shooter focusing on the ODST. That's funny. It's the, that doesn't seem too crazy now that I think about it more and more. Right, but, but it, it kind of is. The crazy part because... is that ODST, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And tactical shooter. Pfft. Exactly. Uh, does it see, that's the thing. It's crazy enough that we probably won't see it, but I feel like I wouldn't be shocked if we did. Like, it's it's like 5 to 10% realistically it would happen, but let's be frank, Microsoft's not that smart. And this has come from an Xbox guy again. Yeah, flying Xbox. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I'm the gully for <laughs> Sony's cricket team. <laughs> so, all right. Time for mine. Thank you, Jeff. Number five for me for Sony. This one I see happening. The Last of Us 2 will not come out 2017, and something will delay it. It's it's like tradition at this point. Something big is going to get delayed. For some reason, I don't see it being God of War. I see it more no. being Last of Us 2. Because we don't know I how agree. far along it is in the uh, development cycle. You know, I, I wholeheartedly agree with that because of how late The Last of Us 2 was announced. Mm-hmm. Anyways. So yeah, yeah, I think you're on, I think you're really on to something. Number four, as much as we don't really care about uh, virtual reality he- helmets and all that, I do want to try them, but I'm not like, oh my god, I need it right now. Mm-hmm. Um, as much as we don't really care, I feel like Sony will still continue pushing it in 2017. I don't see them stopping anytime soon. And to add a little spice to that prediction, the headset will probably also get a price drop to get people like me and Jeff, who don't care, to maybe get a little more interested. Mm. Number three, Shenmue 3, which we didn't see anything about during the PlayStation experience, and I was kind of dumbfounded by that. Oh, such a big game for... Even though it's even though it's not true exclusive, because it'll be on PC, that's something that Sony can like really laud, and they didn't. So I think by the time of E3, to make up for that, it'll have a demo. At least. Oh, yeah. It'll have a demo. Like, I can see them going on stage and saying, Oh, hey, guys, we have a demo available tonight, so try it out. Um, For number two, Shin Megami Tensei. Now, the mainline Shin Megami Tensei games have always been on Nintendo. Next year, I can see it being, I don't know, when GDC or, or E3 or PlayStation Experience. I can see, if not a mainline Shin Megami Tensei game, even even any of the other spin-offs. Basically what I'm saying, a Shin Megami Tensei game that isn't Persona will be on the PlayStation 4 or the Vita. Whether it be mm-hmm. a mainline one or Devil Survivor or Digital Devil Saga or whatever. And for my number one, for a tie, I have, because it's my list and I do what I want, <laughs> I have that Sony will finally cave in for mods being on their games that can use external assets um, if you don't know, Skyrim and Fallout do have mods, but they can only use the assets within the game. So you can't get the cool mods like uh, Macho Man Dragons. But you have to complain. So do what you do best out there. If you want those mods, whine and moan at Sony until your face turns blue. You know, the usual. And tied with it is also that a lot of games are dependent on Sony because Xbox, uh, Microsoft is willing to have crossplay is that Sony will also finally cave in on crossplay and I think one of the first games that'll have it will be Tekken 7. I wholeheartedly agree. And for my crazy one, this one's really crazy has a tinge of reality in it. Is that Sony buys Sega and we get the Sony Dreamcast. What we always wanted, the PS5 will be you, the Sony Dreamcast. Dreamcast 2. Yep. And that's yeah, but wow. you know what? Dude. Yeah, but you but you know what? I have just realized you said mine was a little bit realistic. I think yours is a lot more realistic than mine. <laughs> you think so? It's crazy. It's out there, but it also has a bigger hinge of reality to it than mine. So, we still got plenty of time. Is there anything you wanted to plug? Just... Uh, besides the usual, not really. 
they well you, our Twitter is plastered as you've noticed. I, I made sure of our course. Twitters are right there. So of course, I guess we don't have to really plug our Twitters. Um, um I will tease something. I am having a like an end of year editorial go up on um Hero Club? on uh, Hero Club soon regarding my personal feelings against uh, Nintendo. What they've been pulling these last let's be let's be frank. It's really been thirty years, but as me as a consumer of their products, it's been the last fifteen. And how anti-consumer it is, and this brand loyalty Ooh. BS of this company and others need to stop. We'll so I look forward to that. <laughs> yes. As for me, check out the Facebook, facebook.com slash fightercaos, F-I-G-H-T-E-R-X-A-O-S. That leads to everywhere else. Like, I'm doing so much. And also check out Hero Club, hero-club.com, and The Broken Infinite, thebrokeninfinite.com. This one, well... This is pretty much the time length we're shooting for, so mm-hmm. um, this will probably be, be more accurate to what we do. So thanks for listening. Leave your feedback in the comments. We love feedback. We don't know what we're doing wrong or right unless you tell us. We can't read minds. So that's it. What yep. are your What are your crazy predictions? Let us know. And with that, all I got is to say, Nimio. Conrail.